Right now, I am in a Chadian locality called Kufrun at the border with Sudan. It is one of the main entry points for refugees. They're here waiting for assistance. They lack everything. I've met a particular woman who told me that she had to flee at 3 a.m. in the morning because she had gotten a warning uh, from attackers telling her that if she didn't leave her house and all her belongings uh, before their ultimatum, they would kill her and her whole family. So she fled like many others who are here uh, waiting for help, help as in uh, shelters, uh, clean water and food. Food that has been supplied so far uh, by partners and as well as uh, security has also been provided by the Chadian government and other partners have been helping also. We are now facing a race against time because the rainy season is approaching which is going to make access to this locality very difficult. That means also difficult access for refugees to food, shelter and clean water. The government of Chad is uh, currently providing security and is uh, still welcoming uprooted people who are fleeing uh, the conflict in Sudan. Uh, however, their efforts alone are not enough uh, to sustain uh, this uh, solidarity of the people uh, of Chad. The support of the international community is urgently needed uh, to scale up and to sustain this assistance uh, to those in need.